Well, I have this uh, engine set up here and I put on the uh, rocker arms. These are 1.4s. And I put on here one lash cap. You can see that. And then what I did is I, I put in my uh, push rod measuring tool and I set it to be a certain length. And then I, um, I went ahead and uh, turned this and rotated the engine over to see so let's see what it looks like here. So this is with a point, with a six thousandth, uh, let's see, that is 0 0 0.006, 0 0.006, and I go in here, it's, it's, it's rubbing nicely, so that's about right. Um, I've got this, this is a nice one with the Allen bolt and a 14 inch, uh, uh, sorry, a 14 millimeter uh, nut there and I I have the ability to turn over the engine with this so I go forward and I just watch this valve here so it's at zero lift now you can hear because I put the spark plugs in you can actually hear the compression as I turn the engine now, I only put in a couple of the spark plugs. But listen to that. That's the compression. Okay, so should start to see this valve go down now. Cam hits it. So as I do this, you can see this um, going all the way down. I believe that's about full lift right there. So if I look and I compare. Okay, well, I did my uh, geometry and this was my final push rod measuring tool length. So in measuring that, uh, look here, and if you look here, then I set this guy so that it's roughly the same as that, and this is what I get basically right here. So what I'm going to do is just mark this along that plane. And this is where I'm going to cut all of these push rods. All right. So you can see that. So I'm going to see if my uh, pipe cutter going to be able to do this well. So let's try one of them. I've got this one and I've got this one. I don't know which one's better but I'm going to go with this little blue one. Let's see. I guess I'll try to line it up right at the right edge of this Just let's see, I'll do it like this. All right, well, I wound up taking that piece of rubber, sticking it around there, and then putting my vice grip on there. So I think that then doesn't turn, it seems to do much better. See if I can actually finish this up. Okay, well, I cut that. It's definitely 
all burred up. There's a bunch of problems that I'll have to deal with. Uh, might be able to use this thing. Deburr it. So it has to be, um, you know, it's actually got a little edge on it. So I assume that, I just need to smooth this out and then get this, and then pound the little ending into it. But, uh, all right, so this guy has got to go in there. But before that can happen, I'm going to have to clean this out a little bit. All right, and just like that, I had to go down and uh, use two, like a socket, and do it on the concrete and make sure I didn't get any wood inside the holes or inside of this tube. And then there was still a little bit of a outside uh, sticking out on this so I just cleaned that off by wet sanding it here that shouldn't make any difference here because it's not really gonna touch anything but there's a little tiny lip on there that I could keep sanding off but anyway this is my the first of my eight push rods and let me check it against the measuring tool and the ruler here and let's just see how close I got yeah, I have to repeat this eight times, so... Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much exactly the same. Um, and if I measure it here, it is exactly... You know, it's 11 point... You know, what, the stock one is 11.078 or something, so this is... Really, it's like 11 and just a hair. So... I'm gonna say that that is basically stock length. And uh, you know, this wet sanding was really just because of the cut just, you know, it, that side just doesn't look quite as good as the one that came from the, from the factory. But you, know, you go over this with some wet sandpaper and it's, it's never gonna hit anything any way, any, anyway, except for this end tip here, which is, looks fine. So, I'm gonna just say this one is done. I'm gonna do the other seven. I think this looks great. All right, well, that's one 